Hey, a little channel status update for the month of June 2014. Boo. I don't know what that intro was. So let's talk a little bit about the month of June as it pertains to this channel, Roleplay Solemn. First couple of uh, weeks of this month, uh, Jeff's in Europe. I don't know what he's doing over there. He's Home Story Cup and something else. I think he's just chilling over there for two weeks. Uh, and then around the 20th, uh, that weekend, we are all in Anaheim. So Solemn's going to be a little bit rough. We wanted to do an episode today, but uh, Neil was still recovering from his stream. Um, so we're still figuring out what to do with Solemn. And when we know more, we'll let you guys know. But for now, uh, we're going to try to do an episode this week, but it really comes uh, down to what Jeff's schedule is in Europe. And who knows what goes on over there. Who knows what happens when Jeff goes to Europe? Maybe. I, I don't. There's so many variables. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we'll try to get it uh, scheduled, though. Um, let's talk about R&D. Uh, we've been trying to get a show going for, what is it, a week and a half now? Two weeks? Week and a half? Let's say a week and a half. Uh, for those that don't know, the next episode, or sorry, the next season of R&D is going to be starring the one and only Jesse Cox from Polaris, from the co-optional podcast, and I guess the internet. Um, we're trying to get back on track with the show. I think we're going to be try to, we're going to be able to do something this upcoming Saturday, but... I don't want to commit to that just yet, so you won't see it on the bot, you won't see it on any countdowns or any tweets or anything like that. You'll only see it in this video, because uh, we're still trying to figure out exactly when we can do it. But as soon as we have locked in a date, we'll let you guys know more. Uh, super excited to play that uh, new game type, which I can't really talk about. Uh, but really comparing it to... Um, Comparing it to Pendergon, it is completely different. Pendergon was very linear. Uh, we were all the same class. This game has like pff, a billion bajillion classes. Re I mean, really, like there's so many different ways you can take a character. Uh, and I'm super excited to play it. It's also a sci-fi setting. So uh, really, really stoked to see what we can all do in that setting. Um, Vigil, we're going to keep being badass. We're still doing shows. we got a show tomorrow on the 3rd here of June at 4 o'clock EST. Uh, we're all loving the Dungeon World rule set and learning along with it. I think uh, my my DM style is is changing a little bit. We're being a, I'm being a little bit more passive and not uh, kind of hand holding the party uh, with where we're going with things. So I'm enjoying that. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Vigil R and D and Solemn. Uh, we're gonna be looking to do something regarding Dark Heresy in terms of filling that void, which also reminds me, uh, Total Biscuit keep beating cancer's ass just fucking destroy it get better get back even though you're still pumping out all the content i know we're all thinking or just know that we're all thinking about you and uh, we're hoping that uh in a week's no it's not gonna be a week i don't know you're gonna get better you're gonna be more badass you're gonna you're like the uh what is it when they the the bigger badder bad bad no that's not what it was what was that tv show where they've rebuilt a man that's what's going on with you. They're going to put all sorts of robotic... You're going to become your Dark Heresy character. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's get out of it quickly. What I was saying is that we're going to be replacing uh, that show for the time being. Uh, myself, Wheat, uh, Steve, and Jeff. Uh, although Wheat and Jeff don't know it yet. We're still trying to figure out, uh, me and Steven are, uh, what we want to do. Uh, we might be bringing in a new DM and uh, doing something like that because we haven't done that for quite some time uh, in the role play world and it might be a lot of fun. So we're still working on all that. We'll let you guys know when we know more, um, but it's a very slow process. We're not trying to rush it or anything like that. The last bit of role play news for the month of June is that at MLG Anaheim, I believe we're going to be doing two live role play shows that'll be about two hours each uh, on Friday and Saturday. Details are still a little bit sparse. We don't know who they're going to be or what they're going to be. I think they're going to be one shots, but we're still figuring out exactly what that looks like. Um, when I have more information, we'll go ahead and make a proper video, uh, maybe a hype video or something introducing all the people. We will see. We will see. In terms of more YouTube content, uh, I know a lot of people have been watching the Dark Souls content that I've been putting out, so thank you guys so much for doing so, first of all. Uh, we need to record some more footage, as uh, we just put out the last VOD uh, that I did uh, dual streams with Day9, so 
Sometime before Anaheim, I will probably do a six to eight hour stream of Dark Souls. I just don't know when that will be. I need to think about that uh, and really figure that out because I've been playing Wildstar a shit ton recently. Uh, and I'm really, really enjoying Wildstar. I've been uh, streaming all that since Friday. I've put about 15 hours into the, uh, into the character that I'm currently playing, which is a Stalker. I'm currently level 22. We're playing on the Widow server, which is a PvP server if anyone is thinking of rolling there. We'll probably get a guild up. You guys can come hang out. Um, but yeah, Wildstar is a pretty good game. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to talk about it, uh, or if you just want to see what the game is all about, you can check out my stream, twitch.tv slash MAJP. I tweet whenever I go live over there, so come check it out. Come hang out. We have a, a pretty good time with that game. One of the other games that I've been streaming a lot recently is CSGO, and I've been trying to figure out how to bring CSGO over to the YouTube world. Um, I thought about doing frag videos, but I was sitting there thinking to myself, you know, if I do a frag video, we really need we really need copyrighted music, like some dubstep or some Linkin Park to really bring it home and nail that frag video. So I don't I don't know what the the CS videos look like. Like do I just put up full VODs of a match? Is that interesting to you guys? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the, the comments what you guys would want to see from that world or if you want to see anything. Um, I'm currently Master Guardian 3, so I'm not terrible, but I'm not good. Um, but it's not, I'm not like, I'm average, maybe a little bit less than average, but it's not, it's not terrible play. Uh, I've been streaming that a lot, so if you just want to watch, you can come over to the stream. Uh, last but not least, uh, at least for this video... Well, no, there's still two more bullet points. Still got two things left to talk about. First thing, E3 is next week, and I love the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Every year on uh, on the Monday or Tuesday when all of the uh, all the live streams go down, all the conferences go down, I, uh, I wake up in the morning. You probably heard this if you watched 8-Bits, um, and I just love that day. And I've been thinking about how I want to do content or if I want to do content around E3. So since I'm going to be watching all the panels very uh, closely, uh, as I'm going to be watching them in full, would you guys like to see my thoughts on each panel right after they finish? Like, I can I can bullet point some stuff, talk about some different things throughout the panels, and give some comments here. If that's something that you guys want to see, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do those videos, much like this style of video as well. Um, we'll be doing our 8-Bits uh, pre-E3 show. I think that's actually the one-year anniversary. Or no, no, no. We started the week the week after E3, I think, last year. I think. I don't know. I don't remember. Regardless, the pre-E3 8-bits should be this Friday uh, at 1 o'clock EST over at twitch.tv slash DJ8. So if you want to check that out live, you can. If not, we'll have the VODs here up on YouTube. Now we're on to the last but not least, the website. I said that we were going to have a website up in May, and here it is June the 2nd. I don't know when it's coming. It's still up in the air. I've talked to the dev probably three or four times a week. He's still hammering away at it. I promise it's coming, though. I really want to get that site up just so people don't have to go into the Twitch channel anymore and just so people don't which don't miss roleplay streams anymore so they have an actual calendar and a countdown up in the top right-hand corner of the site. I really want to get that site up, so we're going to try the best that I can to get that site up in June. Um... That's pretty much all I got. The reason that we're making this video, along with keeping you guys updated, is that this chair is going away. I'm getting a new chair here, shipped today, but uh, it's 6.20 p.m. FedEx still hasn't delivered it yet. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's really aggravating. Hopefully it gets here today, because if not, I've wasted pretty much a complete day, because i got to sign for this thing, so I can't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, hopefully this, this chair is gone, the next video I'll watch, so... That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go wait for FedEx. We'll probably be streaming some more, so if you want to check me out over at twitch.tv slash MJP, you can. By the way, thank you guys so much uh, for the subscribers here on YouTube. We are currently about 400 away from 80,000, which I never would have thought that uh, the channel would ever get this big. So thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you next time. I'm JP. I'm signing out. I'm going to go scratch my beard some. We'll see you soon.